Now, on this video, as you can see, the Mawic instance is still being loaded from the IP address instead of a domain name. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to load your Mawic dashboard directly from any domain name or even a subdomain. In this case, I'm going to be doing it from a subdomain. Okay, so what you do is copy the IP address. Actually, I'm going to copy it directly from Amazon. Copy IP address and then go into your domain name hosting account. Once you're on your hosting account, you have to access the DNS zone editor. It's going to be a little bit different for every company, hosting company, but for all of them, it's going, you're going to be looking for something that is called DNS zone editor. On some companies, it's called advanced DNS zone editor, but it's all of them have a similar name. And all you have to do is load the domain name that you want to use and create a new A record, okay? On the A record, you're going to put first the name, or here it's called host record, which is only, this is going to be the subdomain name that your website is going to be loading from. And in my case, that's well-grounded cafe. So for example, if I submit this, what is going to happen is that well-grounded cafe, we're, we're telling the hosting company that we want this subdomain on the rbip.club domain to be loaded from this IP address. Okay, so load this subdomain. So whenever anyone loads this subdomain, load the content that is on this IP. And when we add the record, is usually like it says right here, it usually takes up to five hours to update your changes. So if you go right now, uh, it's probably it's going to throw you an error. It usually doesn't take more than 15 minutes, but it depending on your hosting company, it can take up to four hours. Once you have done that, what you're going to do is copy the full domain address and go to your Maui dashboard that you're going, still going to be accessing, accessing from the IP address. And then you go into settings, configuration, and sometimes Maui can take a little bit to load. And right here where it says site URL, you're going to change it to whatever domain or subdomain you want your website to load from. And that has to include HTTP. And you save it. And now again, you're probably going to have to wait for the URL for the DNS to update and to propagate across all of the network. So this, again, this usually only takes about 15 minutes but you can take up, up to four hours. Once you have done that and you have waited in long enough time for your DNS to propagate, then you're going to be able to load your website from this URL. Let's see if it's working right now. Yeah, I don't, yeah. yeah it's still not, hasn't propagated, so we still, can't access this, but again, it usually only takes about 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Once you have waited a long time, you're going to be able to load the website from that domain or subdomaining. 